say I'm the biggest, the largest Been stepping up shit since my mama stayed in them apartments Regardless, my daddy told me keep the heat even when I'm in forwards I'm heartless, cause these niggas is hating on me just because I'm the biggest, the largest What's up guys, today we're going to be editing some AI transitions, 3D track titles and some more creative effects and transitions in Final Cut Pro. Starting off with this video that switches to this party scene which is all actually AI. So here's my raw video clip. The first thing I'm going to do is add a marker here on my video clip by selecting it and then pressing M on the keyboard. And this will be where we switch to that AI scene. So first I'm going to export a JPEG of this image. Go up here to export and then go to JPEG. And then I'm gonna to go to the last frame of this video and export another JPEG. Next, I'm going to open up Higgsfield.ai. I'll leave a link to this website in the description and go to the image tab up here and go to create image. And down here where it says soul, let's click that and go to the nano banana model. Next, we can add in an image using this button here. And let's add in that first frame that we just saved. And then we need to put in the prompt. So on this one, I used the prompt nighttime orange lighting, modern LED lighting on the floor and ceilings, people at a party in a hallway. So I'm basically just describing what I want to add to the photo. And then we can click on generate. So here is a photo that that created. Then we just need to repeat that process for the other image. Then we can click on download here to download those two images. Once we've downloaded the images, let's go up here to video, generate video. Then we can go down to the model here, click on that and go down to Kling 2.1 master or Kling 2.5 turbo. And then we can drag our images, one into the start frame, the first shot, and then the second one in the end frame. So we have the two images, the first freeze frame and the second freeze frame all edited. And for the prompt, I just copy and pasted the prompt that I use on the images and then click generate here. So here is the final result for that. It's kept really good detail on the house, but some of the faces are kind of skewed. But for this quick effect, it should work okay. Now we can go up here and click on download and download that video. Up here on video, there is an option to upscale your video, which is what I did to make it good quality. So now we can drag in our video clip and line the beginning up with the marker that we made. Now if I play that back, it will switch to that party scene. Instead of a straight switch, what I did was added a shake transition. So if we go up here to the adjustment layer and bring in an adjustment layer, over in the effects tab, let's go down to the shake presets. This shake effect doesn't come with Final Cut Pro, but I'll leave a link to it in the description. It's a plugin that you can download and install to Final Cut Pro to give you all of these shake effects. And this one's really customizable. You can pretty much create any type of shake you want. And I use this flash hit preset, drag that onto the adjustment layer. And then in the settings, I put the horizontal bounce to zero and the rotational bounce to zero and just added this vertical bounce shake effect. I also added in another adjustment layer. And on this one, I added a glow effect. I added this Luma glow effect to this adjustment layer and changed some of the settings. So we got this glow effect. Next, I added a speed ramp to this video clip. So I'm going to press R on the keyboard and select the part that I want to speed up. And then go here to the speed wheel and go to fast times eight. Then press A on my keyboard and just drag these tabs out to smooth out that speed transition. Now we have that middle bit sped up to the last frame. Next, I added a zoom out transition to the end of this video clip. And for this one, I went to the titles tab, went down to the smooth transition layers and added in a zoom out one to the end of this. And I added this zoom out transition because my next shot flies back from the subject here. I've already added a speed ramp to the beginning of the shot. So it creates like a natural zoom out transition. And we can also add some motion blur over this to smooth out the transition. This motion blur doesn't come with Final Cut Pro, but it's a free plugin that you can download. I'll leave a link to it in the description. So now we have this nice zoom out transition into this next shot. Next up, we have these 3D titles which are tracked to the video clip. You can track titles in Final Cut Pro, but only in 2D space. If you want to track titles in 3D space, then you will need this mTracker 3D plugin. I'll leave a link to it in the description. First thing I normally do is copy and paste my video clip, trim it down to where I want to add these titles in. Then on this video clip, let's go to the effects tab and go to mTracker 3D and add this effect onto the video clip. Then click on track here, and that'll take a second to analyze the video and create tracking points. Once that's done, we can click on copy track here. Next, let's go to the titles tab and go to mTracker 3D over here. 
drag in one of the 3D titles and trim that to the video clip. Next, I'm going to click on paste track and then click on this button here and hold down shift and click on where you want to place the title. Now that title is tracked to the video clip. If we click on it, we can move it around and also change, change the direction of it. If we click on the T up here, we have all of these settings which we can change to change the look of the title. I like to turn light wrap on. Now we have that title done and tracked. I'm going to add another one around about here and basically just repeat what I just did. And now we have the titles tracked onto the video. I also added a glow effect from behind the house. And to do that, I copy and pasted my video clip. And on this top layer, I added a magnetic mask and just selected the house here. And for this one, using these arrow keys up here and tracking the mask frame by frame made a more accurate mask than just clicking the analyze button. So once we have that mask tracked, we can click done up here. Then let's copy and paste the video clip. And on this middle layer here, I went down to the light ray effect and that creates this like glow effect from behind the house. And if we select the top layer, we can go to the mask effect, change the feather to smooth out the glow effect. Finally, I added a zoom effect to the titles. So if we go up here to the titles tab and go down to smooth camera zooms, this plugin allows you to quickly add zoom ins to different parts of the video. And the one I used was the ramped zoom in and out too, and just drag that onto the timeline over the video. And then if we select it, we can click on this on-screen control, drag it over to where you want to zoom in. If I play that back, it zooms in and then zooms out. If we copy and paste this, drag it over and move the on-screen control down to the second title here. So now if I play that back, we get the zoom in to the titles. Finally, to color grade this, let's go up to the titles tab and go to adjustment layer. I'll leave a link to this plugin in the description. It's a free plugin you can download and just add it over the top of your project. This adjustment layer has the built-in color LUT effect. So if we go to the titles tab, then we can select the LUT. For this one, I used the summer vibes LUT and adjusted the settings on this. I also added this sharpen effect to the adjustment layer, which just makes the video stand out a bit more on social media and brings out the detail a bit more. Also this RGB vignette effect, which if I turn it up, you can see just adds this slight RGB effect to the edges. And then also a diffusion glow effect, which just softens the highlight slightly and adds a slight glow. But that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. In the next video, I'll be going through some really cool effects. So subscribe if you want to check that out. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next video. Safe to say I'm the biggest, the largest. Been stepping up since my mama stayed in them apartments. Regardless, my daddy told me keep the heat even when I'm in forwards. I'm heartless, cause these niggas is hating on me just because I'm the biggest, the largest, the biggest, the largest. 30K on my